and it has started raining i am hoping that stallion will not need uh, petrol till pune at least well, look at this place man i'm going to miss this place okay people this is so nice yeah so it was taking me through a different route to indore and it started raining heavily again safety first <laughs> I have a long way to go. Stalin will not give me any mileage if I decide to go fast. And I don't know why this Nano has stopped. It's a car. Does it have a problem in the rain? Just look at this landscape. So this is like the police check post uh, Amboli. We are almost near Kolhapur. I think I should stop somewhere. This time the rain. I hope you like it. You know, probably I never told you. Uh but then i have a dream hello world good morning good morning everyone so today is the 15th of september i stayed at the ps guest house uh for a couple of days in fact yesterday was a rest day i did not do anything yesterday now it's time to leave to indore not sure if i'll be able to make it of course i'll not be able to make it so from here google maps tell me that the distance to indore is 1002 kilometers and that's going to take almost 21 hours of ride time so that is that i'll meet you on the saddle now it's been raining cats and dogs in goa right now it is not raining but today i'm all packed i'm wearing my rain gears as well on my saddle again long journey to make today the time is 8 19 am so i had thought uh, um that i'll leave before 8:30 for sure actually initially i was thinking that i'll leave by 7 or 7:30 but then i was just resting just relaxing so like i was saying yesterday i did not do anything as in i did not ride my motorcycle yesterday <laughs> that's strange yes but yesterday i was just walking on the streets of goa just absorbing everything It was just a rest day. I had some good food here and there. I strolled around here and there. I did not record anything. I did not use my GoPro or anything at all. And uh, yeah, so that is the story of yesterday. The sun is shining bright today for some reasons. I hope it stays like this. Uh, however, like I said, I'm all geared up today. <laughs> all geared for the rain. Even if the rain gods decide to, you know. Yep. <laughs> no spoiler plans today. One last glimpse of this beautiful view here. You know, the rain can come any time, okay? It just starts raining all of a sudden out of nowhere. So I'll try to cover as much distance as possible. Um Stallion also has only 2 bars of petrol left. So wherever I find the next petrol pump after 50 kilometers, I'll just you know fill Stallion up. Indore is almost 21 hours of ride from here, 1,000 plus kilometers. I'll try to cover half of it today and half of it tomorrow. Yes, that is the plan. Remember a few days back when I was going to South Goa, I lubed. a uh, stallion chain and uh, it was making some kind of a weird noise and i thought i'll have to get it checked by the mechanic i am happy to tell you that stallion is no longer making that weird noise i think it was my fault to be honest um, you know i lubed the chain when it was already so wet you know it was raining all around and i think uh, you should dry uh, you should uh, lube the chain once it is dry or something um i'm not sure okay So as of now Stalin is performing perfectly well no problems whatsoever uh touch wood hey Stalin thank you from the main road uh we took a left as per google maps seems like a detour yo this is what google maps does okay google maps will take you from here and there countryside roads Awesome yeah riding in these terrains is you know fun i want to capture this wow just wow greenery all around that's what monsoon does we have some kind of a view here man so that detour is over i think and uh, we are going to hit 
the main road in a while so after 300 meters i am supposed to take a left and then continue my journey i'm going to miss this place we have entered nh66 now you know uh, that day when uh, we were reaching Goa, it was already dark and it was raining crazy so I couldn't record the um, Amboli Hills or the Amboli Falls, the Amboli Waterfall. Uh, I could not record that. I could not even record uh, the majority of the Ghat roads that day because it was dark again. Today, since we are leaving early, I'll, I hope to be able to record uh, the Ghat roads. You know, people over there, they say that it always rains over there, no matter it it's raining in Goa, not raining in Goa. In the Ghat region, it's always raining. So that is that. I hope not to find rain today. Let's see. Wow, this highway is also nice because of the greenery all around you. Stalin has only one bar of petrol now. That means Stalin needs refilling. And luckily, we found a petrol pump here. So I'm just going to go there and uh, fill Stalin up. Okay, there's a lot of rush. I'll keep you posted. Okay, all sorted. Uh, Stallion had 1100 rupees worth of petrol and the price of petrol here is 97 rupees and 81 paise. So on my left, there is a huge river okay uh gopro will not be able to catch it <laughs> oh yes here we go can you see this is the border check post patra devi patra devi okay and we are crossing that I thought uh, they are asking me to stop, but then they were not asking me to stop, they were asking the truck to stop. Welcome to Maharashtra, okay. Did we enter Maharashtra already? <laughs> what is this, man? Did we already leave Goa behind? <laughs> Motor Vehicle Department, Government of Maharashtra. Okay, we are in Maharashtra now, people. Hello, Maharashtra. Good morning. This is crazy. I started from Goa like half an hour ago and we have entered Maharashtra. <laughs> wow, this is good. You know, I will try to continue riding for at least a couple of hours more uh, so that we can cover as much distance as possible. Plus, um, you know, honestly, I was reviewing the weather status hour by hour and uh, as per um, the weather reports, till 11.30 a.m., the possibility of rain is less. It will be like cloudy, cloudy. I already see clouds. So if you look at the roads here, you can tell that it rained like a minute ago probably. Yeah, so what I was thinking is, remember the uh, restaurant Goa West where uh, Tejas and I had some food and a Red Bull when we were coming to Goa and it has started raining. It is drizzling again now. So yeah, like I was saying, the Goa West restaurant, I am thinking that I'll take my first stop at uh, Goa West restaurant and I'll have something over there. So that place is still three and a half, four hours from here if I am not wrong or maybe less than that. But yeah, that is where we will stop. So if it just keeps drizzling like this, I'll be able to show you the way uh, the Western Ghats as well through the GoPro. But if it starts raining heavily, then I will uh, remove my GoPro. Don't want to take any chances, right? Okay, I had to take a right from here. I had to take a right from here. Okay. You know, uh, the visibility of the phone, I have to focus really hard to see, but now it's visible for some reasons. Maybe it's cloudy here, that's why. 
anyway i would have missed this cut but i did not so yeah i don't know which place this is this is what otwani road otwani road okay i am not sure if this is the same route that i used to come to goa maybe yes maybe not because it was already dark so i cannot tell whether it was the same route i should be able to tell after some time if i see places like ajra and what not then uh, it would be the same place we have entered the ghat roads have we seems like that and it can rain here any time as you can tell by the roads they are a little slippery imagine on these roads tejas and i were riding in the dark i'm sure a lot of people do that but yeah we've did that too this is savantwadi otwane road and uh, we have to take a right from here okay right from here all right okay here we go the roads have been like this from the last 15 to 20 minutes and uh, the roads are full of potholes here the only relief is the scenic view there are good patches like these but these are very narrow roads yeah you have to you cannot ride fast that's what i intend to say unless you are a local and you know every cut and turn <laughs> what is this place i think i am going through the inside of maharashtra savantwadi i suppose that is the reason why i almost kid i suppose that is the reason why um a lot of people suggest not to do this route at night or in the dark you can tell why because these are narrow roads and again in the night one mistake and you're gone <laughs> i just realized my phone does not have any reception either so yeah that is that uh google maps however is working i think um you know for some reason it is still working which is good because it takes the data and uh, you know shows the route unless you take any diversion or cut then it doesn't reroute airtel prepaid does not work at a lot of places okay lot of places in goa as well we have a small bridge here <laughs> I love bridges. Wow, yeah. All of a sudden I was just riding 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 narrow roads and there you go. On my right there's a beautiful river. Rivers, rivers, rivers. Nice. And the roads are not good here, okay? Sometimes really narrow road, sometimes full of potholes. you cannot maintain a speed here yes ghat aramb no other routes i think there, uh, this is the only route which connects goa to indore or goa to mumbai for that matter anyway uh the code for forest was mentioned somewhere back and this is the ghat section amboli is 15 kilometers from here okay i just saw a sign board so i'm sure today we will be able to see the amboli falls <laughs> so like i was saying in the ghat section it can rain any time and it has started raining and it's not just drizzles okay a little more than drizzles so i'll uh, keep riding and i'll see if uh, need be i'll have to remove my gopro then but don't worry i will show you amboli falls today for sure i'll stop there and record and show you look at these road people I am having so much fun. You know the fun starts actually when it starts raining. There is that, okay. Uh with the rain the weather becomes so pleasant. Had this GoPro uh 
been able to remain waterproof even with the media mod it would have been crazy yeah we could have been able to record so much of this i have not removed my gopro yet as you can tell already hmm enjoying this weather my gloves are becoming wet on top of that my gloves also started leaking color the other day when i reached goa it was like fully drenched fully drenched okay people i am in a shade right now and i think i have to remove my gopro yes it's raining crazy now i'll connect it back in some time it stopped raining and i took out my gopro and recorded this i hope you like it so i crossed like multiple waterfalls here this one looked a little bigger so i'm not sure if this is amboli but yeah uh, i'm sure there's another one and i'm going to connect my gopro again so that is that look at this view hello monkey so many monkeys here and it started raining heavily again cannot connect my gopro look at the flow of the waterfall man beautiful can you see at the top the water is coming from such a height here yeah. this stallion so there is a small shop here uh corn bhutta so i'll have some corn and enjoy this view sometimes it's okay to pause and relax you know had my corn had my view uh <laughs> this is so nice yeah i wonder how the top of uh, the place looks like from where this water is coming i wonder time to leave now uh i have packed my gloves because it's raining all the time and uh, my gloves uh, become really really wet gopro i have just plugged it on let's see how the rain gods play i don't you enjoy the view a little baba It's just a different world out here in Amboli, yes. Really different from all the other places. Hello, monkey. Okay. All right. A thought just uh, struck me. You know, I'm going very slow. I have to cover a lot of distance today. And uh, look at me. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying, and I'm going slow. The view is like this, yeah. In some time, I'll hit the highway. Then uh, there won't be any views like this. So, trying to spend some time here. I think we have only covered what uh, 60 kilometers since we started in the morning. Yeah, that's about it. 60, 70 kilometers. That's all. Okay, there's another Amboli waterfall. I think this is the one, which is the main one. Is it? I think so. Okay. Okay, it has stairs as well just in case you want to climb and go. And the monkeys are just sitting and relaxing, okay? They don't bother anyone. Nice view, man. And those stairs, they are awesome. My gosh. This is gorgeous, yeah. Okay, we have so many monkeys in a dine here. <laughs> Again, we are not going to stop anywhere here. Now I'll try to stop only after I cross the ghats area. Or um let's just say that I'll not stop now until I reach the Goa West restaurant. I was just thinking to myself that had I not stopped a little behind the actual Amboli Falls I wouldn't have been able to enjoy the peace and the solitude and the alone time 
there was nobody over there except for me and those bhutta vendors the corn vendors and on the main floors there was so much of crowd so in a way i'm glad that i did not stop there i was just thinking so i have uh, switched on the hazard lights to increase my visibility so you can see here but can you see there <laughs> no a car just came out of nowhere okay you know this uh, ghat area it keeps changing all the time sometimes it's raining heavily sometimes it's drizzling sometimes it's foggy nice place of wonder see again no visibility here suryast darshan point okay this is like a sunset view point I wonder how long it is going to take me to cross this route. Because I'm going slow as you can tell that I'm enjoying all of these roads and the view. So it's foggy. I'm not sure if GoPro is able to show you anything that is ahead of me. But yes, I just wanted to record this part as well. <laughs> Look at this place, man. Police Durshetra Amboli. So this is like the police check post uh, Amboli, and we are crossing that. It's foggy, man. It's so foggy here. Cannot increase my speed. I cannot see a thing. There are so many birds, um, you know, in that water playing with each other. Are those ducks or ducklings? Anyway, I just stopped here to connect my phone. Not sure what happened to Google Maps. Google Maps is telling me to go back. Is it? Or straight? I'll try going straight. And if required, I'll go back again. This is because there's no network over here, no reception. So Google Maps keeps wondering where to go, where not to go. I am loving the ride on these roads. Just loving it. riding through the ghats uh the roads here they are not well made yeah i i know that i've told you multiple times while i was coming here as well the roads are not at all well kept which means um even if you cannot manage a good speed that's all right the scenic view makes up for it but everywhere on the roads there are potholes everywhere <laughs> and the riding experience goes for a toss then so you know if you're planning to come here from this route uh please remember that it's not the kilometers okay it may show you 100 120 kilometers but trust me those 100 120 kilometers are going to take some time okay after every 50 meters there are potholes that is the story of this place there you go another one not even 50 meters apart It's like one pothole, next one, another one, next one. So I've been riding on these roads for quite a while now. Just crossing Ajra. So Ajra is quite a crowded place. Uh, there are many ATMs and banks. Just in case you want to withdraw some cash. Oh, okay. There's a Honda showroom as well here. The time now is 11:25 a.m. It's been exactly uh, three hours since I started in the morning. So, how many kilometers did I cover in these three hours? Just 120 kilometers. That's about it. I think Indore was showing around uh, 1,000 kilometers when I started, and now it is showing 880 kilometers, maintaining an average of what 40 kilometers per hour. <laughs> okay. not bad but you know how these roads have been so i am also hungry now although i had like two apples in the morning before i left for 
the ride but still i'm kind of hungry i just want to cross this curves like this guard section as soon as possible enter the main road area and then i will stop somewhere to have some food this is nepani ajra link road the one on which we are on right now uh, i think goa ves restaurant is at nepani enough of this view yeah i just cannot get enough of it <laughs> and i just uh, read a sign board that mentioned welcome to karnataka okay so started from goa entered maharashtra now karnataka <laughs> okay nice Here we go. We have reached Hotel Goa West. Yup. Ah, uh, first let me have a Red Bull. <laughs> so the time is 12:04 p.m. It's been close to what? Three and a half hours since I've been riding, and uh, we are left with 849 kilometers till Indore. Okay. Time to leave again. So I sat here for some time. I was just sitting right here. I had a couple of Red Bulls, had something to eat, and now I'm on my way again. Let me just start my phone here. Okay, here we go. So uh, you know, I uh, stopped here and I put some stops here on my. Google Maps the first stop i have put here is uh for pune and the next stop i have added is for nashik and then indore so we are going to go through pune and nashik to indore initially uh when i put google maps straight to indore it was showing me around 845 kilometers and near about the same time as it is showing me now uh i thought that okay i would like to ride through the streets of pune and uh, nashik as well so that is that i'm not sure how far we are going to make it today right now the time is 12:46 pm i will try to ride non stop for at least 2 hours now before i take any kind of breaks so it was taking me through a different route to indore and pune and nashik were nowhere near it was taking me through ahmednagar and i did not want to go to ahmednagar i really wanted to visit pune and nashik even if it is through a motorcycle you know just riding around so yes that is what we are going to do now i mean what can i say about these roads man it's so much fun yeah riding on these roads I'm near Nepani right now. As per Google Maps, Pune is four hours and forty-seven minutes of ride from here, around two hundred and seventy kilometers. So I am hoping that Stallion will not need uh, petrol till Pune at least. So we will refill near about Pune now. I hope so. I wish I could ride a little faster, but then. Stalin will not give me any mileage if I decide to go fast. So I'll maintain a speed, uh, a consistent speed, and try to extract as much mileage as possible as well. As I don't want to keep refilling Stalin again and again. So while I was waiting there, uh, having my Red Bulls and having some food, it started raining again, and then it stopped raining. So I removed my uh, rain gear, and I'm letting the wind hit me. <laughs> fun yeah and it has started raining again so rain is inevitable on this uh, route during the season of course no matter what time of the day it is rain is inevitable you will find rain <laughs> that is that just look at this landscape Wow. 
can't see a thing on my phone because of the sun's light. I wonder what happened to the phone. Is it because of the tampered glass that I put in? Maybe. We are crossing the Cognoli Toll Plaza. Cognoli. Okay. And it's super super windy. So um, you know, on this road, it's super windy. Windy to an extent that you know, I was moving around here and there. <laughs> Stalin is such a heavy motorcycle. So it's fine, um, you know, doesn't matter too much the wind, but yeah, the wind is strong here. We are almost near Kolapur. So if I take a left from here, Kolapur is like only three kilometers, Kolapur airport. But we are not going to Kolapur, we are going to Pune first. And then Nashik, hopefully today itself. And I am late because the time is already 1.20 p.m. If I take another break, then uh, I'll not even be able to make it to Pune in time. We are crossing Kini Toll Plaza. Kini. Okay. What place? Kini. <laughs> Kini. Kini. I don't know. Police Tapasani Kendra. Pune, as per Google Maps, will take close to four hours if I continuously ride, like non stop. I really want to cross Pune today itself like you know I don't want to halt in Pune because from Pune Indore will be really really far and I have to make it to Indore by tomorrow evening um, only then I'll be able to do the things that I have planned to do which are uh, we'll let you know as we go along in the meantime why don't you enjoy this view and the roads and the curves for a while the sky is so clear here cloudy but clear hello again welcome to the rain what is going on today <laughs> it just starts raining here and there okay uh, it's raining heavily now let's see if i can let's see if i have to remove my gopro or not uh, the rain is strong. Let me take a shelter here. And the rain is gone, I think. <laughs> Did you see that? It was raining so heavily and all of a sudden the rain is gone now. What is happening? Okay. So, uh, like we decided uh, when we took the last stop, that we are not going to stop for at least two hours we'll continue riding so right now the time is 2 15 pm and i think i started from the last place at around uh, 12 30 -ish. so uh, we will stop somewhere in around 15 minutes from now uh, i'll have some tea when you're wearing these riding gears you know on your knees you have this pad the protection pad over a period of time it uh, starts paining okay for some reasons because it is stuck your knees are stuck so you gotta keep taking some breaks here and there wow gosh and it is raining again so the time is 2 21 p.m. and uh, yeah, we are on the National Highway 166E and it is raining crazy. Let me protect my GoPro. <laughs> I think I should stop somewhere. This time the rain does not seem like it is going to stop. There is a huge tree. I think I'll take a stop there. A lot of people are waiting there also. Anyway decided to take a halt here and i don't know why this nano has stopped it's a car does it have a problem in the rain maybe yes maybe no anyway the time is almost 2 25 pm i think it's the right time to stop for 5 to 10 minutes we don't have tea here but yeah the weather is very pleasant i'll just uh, walk and relax my legs a little for 5 to 10 minutes and uh, we'll be on our way again
the rain has kind of stopped now it's only drizzling so we'll get going from here catch you on the saddle again stalin is so dirty yeah muddy monsoon <laughs> okay back on the saddle again pune is exactly 150 kilometers from where i am i'm going to cross another toll so as per the sign board pune is 151 kilometers from here as per google maps it is 149 <laughs> Google map always shows 1 or 2 kilometers less sometimes 5 to 6 so yeah we are crossing another toll here uh this is taswade patkar nakha taswade toll plaza okay taswade all right here's a piece of advice for uh the motor vloggers if you are planning a ride down south during the monsoon uh it's going to be tough okay because you would want to record everything using a gopro and if you have connected the media mode you know that it becomes non waterproof it's not waterproof anymore <laughs> i'm not sure if non waterproof is a word <laughs> it's just water resistant for that matter so yes if you don't have a gopro connected to the helmet you can just wear the riding gear and then on top of that you can wear your rain gears and you can just continue riding but if you have a gopro then uh, and if you want to connect your phone to check the maps then it is going to be tough during the monsoons because in the south it can rain any time anywhere here we have mand river mand river the road that i am on right now that is the mumbai satara highway no we are not going to mumbai we are not going to mumbai again did not like mumbai anyway We are crossing Tarli River now. After I took a break, like the last break that I took for 10 minutes, my speed has become a little slow. Uh it is because of the rain of course. The roads are a little slippery so I'm not riding really fast. Safety first. <laughs> I have a long way to go and miles to go before I sleep. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that song. Yeah. Again, take a look at this highway, man. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was only for 10 seconds. Stalin has only three bars of petrol left. Stalin is drinking a lot of fuel on this journey. I was thinking that I'll reach Pune without a stop, but no, yeah. Hmm. It's towards the end of the trip, and uh, you get tired. Okay, after days of riding. Yeah, I thought I have a massage in Goa, a deep tissue massage, but then I did not. Nice, yeah, nice weather actually. You know, I'm glad that the weather is like this, so you don't get tired that easy. If the sun was shining bright and had it been very hot, then you know you get tired easily, you get dehydrated quickly. That is not the case today. So yeah, every season has its own perk. Every weather has its own perk. pros and cons baby pros and cons okay we are crossing urmodi river now the landscape here is picture perfect picture perfect and we have rains again Just in case you're wondering why I'm uh, recording every time it is raining, uh, that is just for my memory. Okay. Oh my gosh, it started raining heavily again. So there's no point of uh, stopping midway here and there. Why? Because if we stop here and there, the rain comes, it goes. But if we keep riding. Uh, for some spots there is rain and then we cross those spots and the rain goes for example right now it is only drizzling a while back it was raining heavily so yeah that is that something to keep in mind that if you want to avoid multiple stops just take the rain let the rain hit you for some time and then keep riding and the rain goes did you see those trees like covering the road like in the himalayas we have um the mountains 
you know cut in a way <laughs> along the road so here we have trees look at that tree even this one nice you know probably i never told you uh but then i have a dream uh not like a dream um a vision or something a plan for the future i would love to settle in uh, pune or uh, dehradun places like these you know i would love to settle in these places and uh, pune was on my list from a long time i remember when i started working when i used to work in uh, 2011 way back in time okay i used to work at a company and some of my friends shifted to pune from there and since then they have been telling good things about pune like pune is this pune is that pune is this so pune is like one of the destinations where i would love to you know um settle if i make enough money one day i would love to settle in pune another place in my list the reason i'm going to indore because indore is also on my list okay um there is a colleague of mine uh the place where i work so this person he used to work in gurgaon and uh, he went for a small project in indore and then he fell in love with indore he fell in love with a girl in indore he got married in indore now he settled in indore and every day he tells me stories about indore like indore is so good indore is this indore is that so we'll find all of that out in the meantime are you enjoying the views with me i hope you are the time is 3:10 pm and uh, pune is still 115 kilometers from here pune is doable okay but we are not going to halt in pune i just wanted to get a feel of pune as to how pune feels like probably i'll stop at pune to have something like to eat something or drink some chai why just because i want to interact with somebody from pune and uh, feel the vibrations uh, i want to get this feeling whether pune is also transactional or people in pune are a little nice wow i was about to switch off my gopro i would have missed this highway view this is so gorgeous this is so awesome i love stretches of roads like these 